is going on guys today we'll be learning about two dimensional transformations so let's look at some of the basic questions first what is 2d transformation so basically changes in the orientation size and shape are accomplished with geometric transformations but under the coordinate descriptions of an object suppose we have a line suppose we say we change the length of the line or orientation that is if the line is straight we make it little bit at an angle or suppose we have a 2d object like a triangle we change the shape of the triangle maybe we change the angles so that is basically what we do in 2d transformations next basic question will be what are the basic geometric transformations so the basic geometric transformations are translation rotation and scaling there are other transformations also uh, that we'll check out later they are reflection and shear so now let's discuss general procedures for applying translation rotation and scaling parameters now first we will look what are this all these three type of transformations then we'll find out the simple way of performing all these three transformations so first we'll look at translation a translation is applied to an object by repositioning it along a straight line path from one coordinate location to another now let's suppose we have a line okay so we'll consider one point of that line first suppose its coordinate are like x comma y so these are the original coordinates okay and then we have to move that point to a next position x dash comma y dash so how do we do that we are given the translation factors of that point tx for the x coordinate and ty is the translation factor for the y coordinate so what we do is basically x dash that is a new coordinate position x position is equal to x plus tx and the new y coordinate position will be y dash that will be equal to y plus ty okay so this is basically the translation what we do is we are given a translation factor then we are given the original point location in x comma y coordinate positions we add the translation factor to the original coordinate positions and then we get the new coordinate positions let's take a look at a rotation okay so a 2d rotation is applied to an object by repositioning it along a circular path in the x y plane so to generate a rotation we are speci we specify three things first one a rotation angle and the second one is the position x y of the coordinate position okay and the third thing we get is the newer uh, view of or how the object will be placed so what we do is these are the things that are given first x comma y are the original coordinates x dash comma y dash are coordinates after the transformation and angle angle is the angle of rotation or theta so, okay theta is the angle of rotation so how do we do the rotation or perform the rotation operation x dash comma y dash as we have seen over here are the coordinates after transformation so x, x dash will be x cos theta minus y sin theta and y dash will be x sin theta plus y cos theta now you might think this is a little bit too difficult to remember but trust me once we look at it in terms of matrices it will be very easy to remember okay so third one will be scaling now as the name suggests a scaling transformation alters the size of an object suppose we are given a small line and we scale it multiplied by 2 basically what we are doing is we are increasing the length of that object or scaling it twice the size of its original length so we multiply the original coordinate positions with the scaling factor again x comma y are original coordinates x dash comma y dash are coordinates after transformation sx is the scaling factor for x coordinate sy is scaling factor for the y coordinate so what we do is we simply multiply the scaling factor to the original coordinate positions x dash will be equal to x into s into sx and y dash will be y into sy so basically that's it guys this is what we are going to look into the next chapter that is the matrices how we are going to perform all these operations with the help of matrices so for now that's it thank you guys for watching do like share and subscribe the video thank you